Hello and welcome to my Submagic review. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a demo and walkthrough of this software that allows you to create viral shorts in seconds with AI. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can try out Submagic for free. And when you want to upgrade, I will also have my coupon code in the description. That's going to be Island, I-S-L-A-N-D, so it can save you a good amount of money. Let's begin. So right off the bat, all we need to do is upload a video. Very straightforward. Allow me to do that very quickly. All right, so I'm just going to give it a name. We have lead generation. For this, I'm going to keep English, but in case you want to see some of the other languages down here that you can utilize, that's going to be that. Let's click on upload, and this is going to be very quick to do. And once this is done uploading, it's going to automatically add the captions utilizing AI, as you can see here, generating auto AI captions, which happen to be very accurate, which is something I really like about Submagic. Nevertheless, once this is done, I will get back to you and I will walk you through the software. All right, so here we are in the Submagic Editor, and something I really like about it is their simplicity and ease of use. You certainly do not need to be a tech wizard to use Submagic, and that's a great thing. Starting off from square one is going to be themes. So what I want to do is just play this and stop this so you can see some of the themes. That's what I recommend you do as well when you get to using it. Just start it so you can see some of your captions, and from there you can go ahead and kind of see how they look using some of the other ones. So there's plenty to choose from. As you can see, probably some of the most popular ones, Alex Hormozzi, then you have two and three. You also have Mr. Beast and plenty of other big creators where you can kind of leverage their themes and what they use to save yourself a lot of time. Now, the cool thing about this as well is maybe there's some you like, maybe there's some you aren't, or maybe there's some that need a little bit more work. What you can do is always edit them. Aside from getting to that, you can change around the color, the size, and the position, as you can see right here. Let's say we want to edit this theme and make it more customizable to you and your brand, or maybe just change around a few things. Let's click on edit theme right here. From here, there's going to be a wide variety of features that you can utilize, for example, from square one, changing the font, whether you want it to be light, medium, or heavy, or you can even upload your own font if needed. We have color, we have size, in case you want to make that a little bit bigger, and maybe you don't want to make all uppercase, I think it personally looks better, you can do that as well. When it comes to the shadow, you have none, so, you know, small, medium, large, really up to you. Same thing with the stroke and the stroke color, you can display a specific amount of words, and of course, we have the position. Personally, I like it is where it is right right there. Probably don't want to put it in some place like that, but your position is obviously going to be dependent on where you are in your videos, of course. We have animation, we have punctuation, auto emoji, emoji animation, and of course some of the themes in terms of the colors that you can change around to really make it yours. So you can certainly use some of the themes that they have, and if you want to go a step further, customize them to really make your own, and that's a good thing. Let's go back. Up next, we have the captions, and as I talked about previously, their accuracy is fantastic. Here we have a 99.61% accuracy. You can add words to your dictionary as well, and there's a few other things you can do. For example, if you click on a word, you can add a line break, you can move to the next line, you can add a word or even remove a word. I think the great thing about this is that I haven't had to really use this at all, and that's a testament to their accuracy of their captions. If you scroll through, you're going to notice that all of the words were just perfect with what I spoke. Sometimes you might say something and maybe you get a little bit of gibberish in there. Submagic isn't always going to be able to pick up on that, but for this, it's been very good for me, and that's always a good thing. Now we move on to the Submagic Trim. While this feature is in beta, it's a fantastic one. First and foremost, it can allow you to remove silence. So if you have a lot of silence in your videos or maybe you're just taking too long to get to the next part of it, all you have to do is click a button here and it's going to remove it for you. Now, for me, I'm pretty fast paced with all of my videos, heck, even my reviews. So there's nothing going to be for me to remove here. So if that is something that you need, consider that. Now, here's what's even better, in my opinion, the ability to remove specific aspects of your video. So maybe you messed something up. Maybe something was more of a run on sentence and it just doesn't sound all that great. This is where you can delete it. So Right here where it says, for example, I put on TikTok and Instagram, you can put a link in your bio. Now, I meant to kind of pause there, but it kind of turned into a run on sentence where it says and Facebook groups. So it should really be like and Facebook groups, you can pin a post to the top. But let's just say I wanted to delete that. So what you can do here is simply click on this, do trim, trim, and trim. And we can do it over to the next line as well. And just like that. What it's going to do is go from here straight into the next one as if it's a new sentence. So let's play it now and you can just listen and hear how it sounds. For example, on TikTok and Instagram, you can put a link in your bio. 
on YouTube. See, perfect. So what it did is pretty much give it like a cut as if it was just the end of the sentence. And now we move on to on YouTube, simply linked to your squeeze page. So let's click on save there. I think that's a great way of very quickly editing your videos because face it, every now and then we're going to create a video where we just maybe ramble on or say something that just didn't sound right or whatever. Maybe you made a bad face during that part and you just wanted to remove it from the video. You can do that. So let's now move on to B-rolls because I know this is a very popular feature because a lot of people want to have that great footage in there so they're not always maybe just staring at you or like I said previously, maybe you made a funny face and you just want to replace it with a B-roll. You can certainly do that. Here's how it works. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Any little section here, anytime you see a word that maybe you want to add a B-roll for, what you can do is simply click on the word itself and that's going to allow you to pretty much create a B-roll for it. So for example, here's like a very quick tip for you. Let's go right here. We can search for a B-roll video. We have GIFs, images, or split into new line, really up to you. So let's do search B-roll. Okay, we can always load more, but this one looks perfectly fine. Like someone's gonna be showcasing like, here's this tip, here's how it works. Allow me to show you how this works. We can click on it, click on apply. And as you can see, what we wanna do is position the video here so it looks better. Like this is perfect right here. They're both in the middle. I think that looks great. Now we have transition animation. So if you wanna add anything like this, maybe like film burn, I think film burn looks great even though it kinda of looks funky there, right? It's obviously, it, it burns a little and changes around. We have zoom out, zoom fast, comic, or just no animation. But just given the fact that it's a tutorial, I'm gonna show you film burn. All right, perfect. So what it's gonna do is add it to this specific section and sometimes it'll like leak over a little into the next one and that's completely fine. So now on this, like for example, we have for example on TikTok and Instagram, you can put a link in your bio. Now remember this aspect right here on YouTube, what we can do is actually split into a new line. So there we go. So now this is gonna be separate. So maybe we wanna find like something for TikTok or Instagram here. So we can just click on this, do search B-roll. And we want something that's gonna be, let's see, like a lot of these are pretty much TikTok, right? So we can go perfect, apply. And what we can do is change around the position so that it's easier to see, right? Something like that. And we won't go with film burn. Let's see, we have glitch, a little too glitchy. Let's go with vintage here. Let's click on apply. And of course it's gonna be showing there. And sometimes, like I said, given the fact this is so short and there's a little here, it might just add a little bit more in there as well as you can see. Okay, and that's gonna be examples of adding B-roll in there. So I'm just gonna click on save. All right, so now we have Submagic Boost. Make your shorts and videos more captivating with AI-powered features. So with the AI hook title, this one is great. So what it's gonna do is generate a great title for you in the first place. So the best way to generate leads. If we go back here, it's gonna showcase this. Let's pause this so it doesn't talk over me. And you can see where the title is going to be. Maybe you like that. Maybe you don't. Once again, you can change around the theme, the size, the position. Let's say like the position is going to be there. And we want to do something like that. Let's regenerate a new one. Boost your lead generation. I think that actually looks so much better. So we can keep something like that. And this is always going to be good because whenever someone like comes to your video, they see that big benefit, that big headline. And obviously, if you're speaking to your perfect audience, there's more chances that they're going to watch it, knowing that this can help boost their lead generation if they watch that video. Let's go on to the Submagic AI description and hashtags. As you can see, very quickly, just simply clicking this on, want to generate more leads as a digital marketer, learn the best tips on maximizing traffic for your squeeze page. So, and it gives you some hashtags as well. Just like that, it's going to be done for you. You can copy it. You can regenerate it. You got a short version. You got a long version. Really up to you. With logo and branding, you can simply add in text or an image. Pretty self-explanatory there. And of course, if you want to add some music, you can do that. What I'm going to do is simply click on it here. And you can see some of the premium music that comes along with it. In case you want to choose something, you can play it. I'm just going to pause it because music overall is going to talk over me You know when I'm going through this. And of course, you can change around the volume. But if I play it too low, you're not going to be able to hear it. Nevertheless, that's just an example of what you can add when it comes to the Submagic Boost section. A lot of nice little features and especially something like this. I think this is great because it's really going to help increase viewership on this. And this is just going to make your life easier when you're, say, posting it to TikTok or Instagram, whatever it may be. Let's click on Save here. And now that we've saved it, I'm actually going to start from square one and let's play it all the way through so you can see everything that I've done to it. Now, this was fairly straightforward and fairly quickly. Obviously, I was explaining a lot of things, but after a few videos, when you're generating them, it's not going to take you too long. And that's a good thing. Let's play the video and you can see and hear what it looks like and sounds like. Are you a digital marketer who is looking to generate more leads? Here's a very quick tip for you. 
Wherever you have the most amount of traffic right now, start linking to your squeeze page with a free gift. For example, on TikTok and Instagram, you can put a link in your bio. On YouTube, simply link to your squeeze page in the description and people can get their free gift. This is one of the best ways of doing it because you already have the most amount of traffic, which means you can generate leads much quicker as opposed to starting from scratch. All right, and so there it is. I thought that came out very good. Like compared to just having the video there, you talking, not only having the captions, but the animation to it, the colors and just everything going on there. Plus we have this uh, AI hook title is fantastic. That can really help your viewership, like I said before, because if they know the big thing they're gonna be getting out of their video, they're probably gonna stick around and watch all of it, right? Which was about 25, or which was 25 seconds. Nevertheless, that's gonna be the Submagic demo and overview, a plethora of features that help you when it comes to creating your AI viral videos and here's going to be my closing review when it comes to Submagic. So Submagic is undoubtedly a top tier tool for creators aiming to generate compelling captions for their videos. Its simplicity and design allows users to navigate its features with ease, making it accessible for both novices and experienced creators alike. The captions produced are not only precise but also richly detailed. Oh, and don't forget about the AI boosting features, which I just covered. Those can help you leverage AI even more to fill in the missing details, such as hook titles, description, hashtags, logo, branding, and music. All of these elements and so much more combine to make Submagic a fantastic tool in the creation of viral video shorts, positioning it as possibly the best option available for leveraging AI and video captioning. Thank you so much for checking out my Submagic review. Don't forget that you can use them for free by using my link in the description. And if you'd like to upgrade, you can use the coupon code ISLAND to save yourself some money. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my Submagic review and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.